Manchester United have appointed Ralph Ragnick as the interim head coach till the end of the 2021-2022 season. And then after that, he's going to play some um, assistant role or something, upper management role for two more years. But what does this mean for Manchester United? Um, they're like in 10th place in the Premier League. Um, they have completely fallen out of the, of the Premier League race, but they're still in Champions League. They're still in the Premier League, uh, you know, trying to possibly squeak their way back into the top four, maybe just get uh, Europa League. We'll see what they're able to do. But what does this mean for Manchester United? I think this means this brings more accountability to that locker room. Um, before in his previous jobs, he's had this 12 punishment um, like system for players or instead of finding the players there, he does like these 12 different um, punishment that he implements for players. Uh, he does like a ball system where you got to pump up balls, get them to the pitch clean and stuff like that. You have to go be an assistant coach for an academy team. You got to take you got to be a stadium tour guide. There's a lot of stuff that he does, um, you know. Um, you got to take care of the grass. You got to wear a tutu to practice. It's just, it's, he's different. He, he's innovative. He has different um, ways of punishing players. But I think this is what Manchester United needs. If, if you look at United, they kind of look like they, ha- they lack leadership. They lack accountability. They lack um, just someone to lead them, someone to tell them, hey, this is how things are going to be. And if you don't do it, if you don't get in line, there's going to be there's going to be consequences and it just looks Manchester United reminds me of you know those club teams those travel teams growing up that had all the talent in the world if if you put if you look at the individual players you're like okay he's he's a good scorer he's a good dribbler we got one of the better defenders in the league keepers nice strong midfield bench is good there's no reason this travel team shouldn't be good and they're, they're not good because you know they're, they're getting late to the games they're not warming up properly um they got divas on the team you know um everyone's just trying to get the new cleats just trying to you know impress the the girls and they're not focused on the game they have all the talent in the world but they're not focused and it kind of reminds me like that Manchester united they have all the talent in the world they have world-class players that demand great transfer fees but they're not in line they're not all playing together and i think Ralph Ragnick is going to bring that to Manchester United. So I'm excited to see how he gets him in line, how he holds every player accountable. And it's just an upgrade over Oli. Oli just looked like, you know, this job was came too fast for him. It was too soon. He hadn't developed. He hadn't earned his chops as a coach. He hadn't, he hadn't developed tactics that work in the Premier League. The Premier League is probably the toughest league in the world. Um, and for him to just jump into into it like that, it's very tough. So Ralph Ragnick, that who has some pedigree, who has some cachet, I think he's going to be able to implement his tactics. They're going to have a United team that plays more as a team. That they're going to be more focused. They're, he's he's not a player's coach. It's kind of what I'm getting from this. Um, I think Oli to a fault was too buddy buddy with all his players. It's great. It's great to have a coach that you could go talk to, that you could feel that you're like on the same level and you could connect to and you're friends with him. That's all good. But at some point, you got to show the locker room. You got to show the players that, hey, this is I'm the boss. You know, I'm the boss. Like what I say goes. And if you don't do what I say, there's going to be punishment. And, you know, I, re- I realized that with Manchester United when Maguire got sent off against Watford and... You got Oli in the in the on the side of the bench, or like on the sideline when Maguire is passing him to head to the locker room after he got his red card. Oli gives him the high the the high five, or it gives him the hand. Like, what are you doing? I've seen coaches numerous times yell at their players like, "What are you doing? Like, how how did he not get it together?" I think it's just that type of buddy buddy, like being friends with with your um, players. It just lets everyone off the hook. It's like, okay, like, we clearly saw Maguire, the captain of the team, do this atrocious mistake. And you're not going to say anything. You're not going to tell him. You're not going to, you know, make an example of him. You're not going to, like, hold him more accountable. Like, this is a professional football player getting paid an insane amount of money who demanded the biggest transfer fee for a center back <clears throat> ever. 
and you're just going to give them a five? Like, bro, hold them accountable. And I think <clears throat> none of that nonsense is going to happen with Ralph Ragnick. So I'm pretty excited to see how he's able to transform that locker room, get everyone, you know, in line. And then afterwards, we'll see what happens after this season, if he stays on board as a coach or if he does just take like a like an upper management position that's being talked about. But I do think, for one, United is going to have some accountability. And I could definitely see a max exodus of players after this season if they keep him um, with the players that he doesn't think um, listen to him, that he doesn't think fit the team. Like, we might see some a lot of United players exit and get some more in to really change that culture. But overall, I think it's a great signing for Manchester United. Um, He seems like a good transition guy. Maybe one of the elite coaches um, become available at the end of the season when when things usually shift a little bit more. But for now, I think this is a good appointment for Manchester United to get them to the end of the season.